my name is Green and welcome back to Hermitcraft. As you can see, I'm <laughs> inside the tube and I'm pretty sure that this messaging system is actually getting somewhere. If I throw the item, I can't even keep up with it. It should go through all the way. I've lost it now. I can't, I genuinely can't keep up. Let's see how far this item goes, because this is the one from Grian to Mumbo. I then need to finish off the tube from Mumbo to Grian. And if you don't know what we're doing, we're creating like an instant messaging, well it's not really instant, a delayed messaging system between each other so that we can send each other mail even when we're not online. As you can see, it is a bit of a long journey for the mail to make it. And it got, it got this far so far, not too bad. And I'm pretty sure we can make this go up even faster by doing this. Oh wait, no, that's the wrong way, that's the wrong way! Oh, wow, well, <laughs> that's down. I need to remember which one's up and which one's down. Perfect. I can't swim. This was a fatal flaw in my plan. Once this is actually done, I can't navigate through it. Oh no, so if I want to, well, actually I don't need to. I can just throw an item down. Does it go straight up? That would seem to be the case. If I throw an item, yep, it just, that will work. That will work. I don't even need to test it. I'm pretty sure that is absolutely spot on. So basically all I've been doing is making the water go as far as it will naturally flow, placing some packed ice down, and then replacing it with a bucket of water just after, and then rinse and repeat. As long as it goes round the corners fine, we won't have any issues. I think I've just made it to the end. That was surprisingly fast. Now, all I've got to do is make sure that this floats to the top A-OK, -okay, and I've kind of guessed where he wants it to come out. I'm sure he can work with this. This is his mail room, so I'm sure he can do some redstone hokery pokery to make this work. I think we should test it now by throwing an item and seeing if we can race it there. That will give us an indication of quite how fast this messaging system can be. It all depends on how fast I can fly, though, as well. Okay, so I've written the message. I think it'll be funnier if we stick to paper. That <laughs> that way that we have a very limited amount of things that we could say. We could end up throwing back a book and quill, but where's the fun in that? Okay, let's pass on the message, and away we go! I'm guessing that the message will already be there by the time we get there. My takeoff wasn't particularly quick, but this messaging system could be incredibly fast. And it's not here yet. Please don't tell me it's gotten stuck. I think it should have been here by now. Something's telling me that it's not its not gonna arrive. My message got lost in the post. Oh, it's there. It's stuck in here. Oh wait, is that, no, that's it arriving. Okay, it's much slower than I thought it would be. So it has arrived perfectly fine. It just takes a good few seconds to get here. <laughs> hello, yes, this is a test, yes, hello. Excellent, so it works. So the idea is once a message is received It's going to get sucked into a hopper and then a piece of glass is going to be pushed over the top of our main beacon to our base Now for me, that's the one in the center of the base and for Mumbo I think he's put one here I don't know if this is his permanent one or if he's gonna keep one in the middle of his base as well but essentially it's gonna change the color from the white or bluish that it is to like a red color to indicate that we have mail that way we can always see. Now all I need to do is the exact opposite to send a message. Mumbo's just joined the game, so you might actually see what I'm up to as well. If only we could make a little like messaging system that just actually made a jingle that goes, you got mail. I'd, lo <laughs> I'd love that. <laughs> Unfortunately, I think we might have to just settle with the beacons going red. <laughs> the beacons have been lit. <laughs> Griendor calls for aid. <laughs> I've just gotten to the end after going through all of this, and I can't seem to get out. What is this bug? I cannot get through here. I think I'm, I'm stuck in this tube forever now. I'm so close. Come on, let me out. <laughs> this is ridiculous. What if I... Okay, I just got to place some water there and take it away. Okay. All right. That was much easier than I thought. I love how my first response is, I'm going to live here forever. Last water in. And the item should come- I can't, I can't leave again! <laughs> oh, this is so frustrating. Okay. If I put it in the sign that I could get out. No, no, my- oh, my lights have broken. That should work. That should work just fine. Okay. Now it's time to test if this works and if Mumbo will play ball with me. Okay, so. Hi, M. Throw this in the other hole. 
TYG. So I'm just telling him to go and... So as soon as he gets this, I'm hoping that he's going to read it and send it straight back. Off it goes. And now to let him know. Yes, it looks like it's worked. He's sending it back now. The only thing is I haven't tested it on its way back, so now we just have to be patient and hope that it pops out the other side. And then the last thing to do is to link this up with a splash of redstone so that this will change to red as soon as it comes through. Which, oh, there it is. We got the mail. Yes, it works. This all sparked off because I left him these messages saying, did a sample, whatever, like, it doesn't matter. I left these signs because that was the only way we could communicate when we were offline from each other in game. So I decided that I was gonna make this instead. And I think this is gonna work absolutely brilliantly because even Mumbo can't notice, fail to notice when his beacon turns red. Although I'm pretty sure he could surprise me. My side of the deal is now complete. And it's actually been a while since I've gone and checked on my shop. So let's go and have a look there. Oh my goodness, someone's made like a World War II hanger. <laughs> what is this? Oh, this looks brilliant. I love the look of this. I'm wondering if the shopping district needs to be made a bit bigger because it's pretty much full at this, <laughs> this time. And we have sold all of our gravel. And we've sold all of the quartz. 18 diamonds, that's not bad at all. Quartz is an easy way to make money, I feel. And then gravel as well, although I was kind of hoping that I didn't sell the gravel because I've now run out myself and I've actually mined so much gravel that there's none left in the area that I was using. So I, I now need to go and find a new gravel place. To be honest with you, I might as well just pop all of these diamonds straight in here because I use so many rockets because I'm, so, I'm so unconservative with them. I'm very, very liberal on, on the old rockets. Ah, as the sun goes down, that means it's phantom hunting time. Uh, as a little progress report, I am now at 753, and I am closing the gap between me and Cleo and Cub, because I'm kind of like the up-and-coming uh, hunter in this scenario, but there's still at least 300 more phantoms than I have right now. So Cub is well over 1,000, as is Cleo. So there's at least 250, probably 300 or 400 between us now. I'm pretty sure if I'd started hunting way earlier, I might be in the lead. But it's kind of cool that I feel like I'm sort of catching all oh, speak of the devil and he shall come. There we go. Bop him on the head. And it begins again, everyone. Actually, I feel like I've killed so many now and I'm so used to phantoms that I could essentially become one. That's right, everyone. I have been bitten by so many phantoms, I have become one myself. And you can call me the Phantom Menace. <laughs> How brilliant is this? I look so cool. I wonder. Hold on. I've got a brilliant idea. But we're going to need to find Mumbo for this. <laughs> There's still, there still chickens in Mumbo's base. I feel like they're going to be they're going to be around a while, aren't they? So the idea is we need to find Mumbo and hang around. There he is. We need to find Mumbo and hang around out of sight. This is going to be so much fun. So I haven't slept in a long time now. So he does. He has no idea what's going to hit him. So I'm going to stand around here and I'm going to spawn phantoms. Oh, there they are. They're up there. Oh man, they're they're all out of out of the way. I need to kind of keep on Mumbo and just make sure that some phantoms spawn, and then I'm going to fly around with them. That is so creepy, isn't it? flying around the moon like that. I really need those guys to come down here, but I'm sure if I wait long enough, they're just gonna spawn here. He's gonna see me. <laughs> come to me, my friends. We must attack Mumbo. <laughs> Rawr! Okay, they don't make that noise, but it's close enough. <laughs> if only I had some more. I need to spawn some more phantoms in. I need my friends. There they are, there they are! Come with me! Come with me, my phantom friends! We must, we must go together! Follow me! There he is, there he is, there he is, I found him. Come on, let's try and get them in. Let's try and coax them to get Mumbo. <laughs> Roar! You make a good phantom. 
<laughs> oh, this this has got to be one of the most genius ideas I've ever had. It must look, <laughs> I must fit right in. Come, my pretties. Come with me. Go. I'm pretty sure if I hang around him long enough, they're going to go for him. Oh, no. Well, if you're going to do it, you've got to do it properly, haven't you? Ah, the sun. Ah. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. I'm back to normal, I think. Yep, back to normal. Perfect. Subscribe for your troubles. <laughs> uh, that's what happens when you spend too much time with the phantoms. You become the phantom menace. I think we should do that to a few other people. Let me know in the comments who should be the next phantom menace target. Oh, that was a broken anvil right there. And away we go. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Now, normally I'd start working on my base here, but I am pretty much out of white concrete. This is the most that I have. Three stacks. And I'm definitely going to need a bit more of that to finish it. And if I'm going to time lapse this, I need to make sure I have the available resources. So I've got most of the, everything else that I need pretty much. But I'm out of gravel, so unfortunately I've got to do one of those dull tasks of going to find some resources. Flying through here is one of my favourite things, you just got to be careful about the landing. I'll show you where I've been previously getting all of my gravel from. The gravel path in the nether until you find this portal, but on the other side it's just a little bit disappointing. As you can see, I have decimated the entire place. There's a few bits of gravel here, just left around, but this used to be all gravel. You can see where it used to be. Uh, so I'm going to have to find a new place. In fairness, quite a lot of it has been decimated. I think I mainly stuck to this area and thought it was all round. Do you know what? I don't actually think this is the same area that I decimated. I think this is someone else's completely different. I think this is completely different to the gravel farm that I was using. So I might have actually solved my problems by trying to find the original problem in the first place. Now I just gotta grind away for a few minutes. And we've now filled up. We've got two shulker boxes full of gravel and an inventory full. So that's not too bad at all. That will do us for at least a couple of hours. <laughs> you, you wouldn't believe how much gravel I get through with all that white concrete. And I sell it on the side as well. So, yeah, I'm probably going to have to come back for more at some point. Uh, this is weird. I've come across something that I don't know what it is. There's a gas there, and I don't know... Wait, is that a real gas? It is, isn't it? That is a real gas. What on earth? This is terrifying. How have they done? What the heck? This is so weird. I don't like it. But it has given me access to a nether portal, which is exactly where I need to go. I need to find my way home. I always forget the coordinates of my own base. Well, it handily links all the way back to here, which is great because I need to repair my shovel. And everything is repaired and we have a bunch of levels as well. I'd say all in all that was pretty successful little grind that we did. How? I wasn't even going that- You are kidding me? I wasn't even going that fast, what? No I'm not okay Mumbo, I was hurt. I was hurt by the machine. The ladder killed me again. I keep a backup elytra just so that I can do exactly what I need to do, which is get back to the- get back to my stuff as soon as possible. I was about to say it's great how I've got some levels left, but <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not the case anymore. Thing is, I normally fly down really f fast like that. I don't think I even had that much momentum. Oh dear. If I was going to play a hardcore game of Minecraft, I wouldn't make it past the first episode, I swear, I really wouldn't. Guess I'll have to make do with seven levels for now. At least I can now replenish my gravel stocks. Oh, it's night time. I am missing out on a night of hunting. Why is Doc here all of a sudden? Wait, there's a tag in progress going on right now. 
There has to be. Uh oh. There's a there's a tag in progress. Uh um I I've been tagged three times. I don't wanna do it again. Never again. I'm just gonna stay here for a while. I don't wanna get tagged. <laughs> I think Biffer is the one that's tagged at the moment. I've done my, I feel like I've done my time. I've been tagged so much. Doc's there. He's looking. I think he's looking for him. Is Biffer on a hunt? I don't want any part of this. I am not involved. I was so confused as to why Doc was here. It's because he's getting chased by Biffer. And Biffer's it at the moment. Oh, there he is! Oh! No! I don't want- I don't want any part of this. Nope, I won't be having it. I won't be having it. I bet I have more rockets. I can outfly you. There's no way. There's no way I'm getting tagged. No way. No way, no way, no way, no way, no way. He won't- I, if I vanish into the nether, he won't sus suspect a thing. That was very close. That's the last time I followed Doc anywhere. So we know Biffa is hunting around the shopping district. <laughs> Whew, my heart is racing. Do you think he saw me go into the nether? I doubt he could have flown that because that was a really deep dive through the base. Not sure he would have been able to maneuver that as fast as me. I am so used to that right now. Well, I'm not going to let Biffa being tagged stop me doing what I was going to do. I need to go to the shopping district and unload this gravel into my cart. He might be hunting around my base at the moment. Doesn't look like he's about. As soon as we hear a, as soon as we hear a rocket go off, we run very, very quickly. Put this gravel in. I know that I need gravel, but I also need an income because there's no way I'm mining diamonds anymore. This is a scary time to be outside. I don't think it's safe to go back to the base, but I do think that is a safe place to end the episode. Whew. Today, we went and finished off our messaging system. Now we just need Mumbo. Go and pester Mumbo to finish up the redstone on it so that we can send each other mail. And we went and became the Phantom Menace. Let me know who the next Phantom Menace uh, victim should be. And then we did some odds and sods grinding stuff, preparing so that I can build the rest of my base. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye!